It is a humid night here in South Florida as we welcome you inside Dolphin Stadium in Miami as MLB 06 coverage of Major League Baseball is on the air. Straight ahead, a special Memorial Day ball game for you here, and we've got a good one as it'll be the San Francisco Giants taking on the Florida Marlins. And hello again, everybody. Matt Vaskersian here to call the action alongside me, trusty colleagues Dave Campbell and Rex Hudler. And Dave is the veteran member of our booth. We turn to you first. What catches your eye in this matchup? Well, I'm going to be keeping an eye on young Miguel Cabrera. It's easy to think of him as kind of a grizzled veteran to this point, but he's still just 22 as of opening day this year. After back-to-back -back 33 homer seasons, the sky's the limit with this kid. All right, Dave, we'll hear from Rex in a minute, but now it's time for our starting lineups as we check out the order for the visiting San Francisco Giants presented by New Era Cap. Leading things off is Ray Durham. He plays second base. Mark Sweeney is in the second spot. He'll play first base. Reggie Stocker bats third and plays left field. Pedro Feliz will follow, having a tough time of late against left-handers, so we'll see how he responds. Then comes the veteran Moise Salou. He's out in right field. Gold Glover Omar Vizquel is next. He, of course, the shortstop. Following him is the veteran Steve Finley. He'll be out in center field. Batting eighth and catching is the Gold Glover Mike Matheny. And doing the pitching and batting ninth is the former All-Star Matt Morris. And on the mound to face him is the D-Train, All-Star left-hander Don Trell Willis. Willis really proved he deserves to be mentioned among the game's elite with his performance last year as he finished second in the National League Cy Young balloting while leading the majors in wins with 22. And in the field, the Marlins will align themselves like this. And the veteran Ray Durham will step in now as we're ready to get this one started. And a cold strike on the game's first pitch as we bring you this one here tonight. In there, and he's in control 0-2 now. Only two pitches, but he looks pretty sharp to start the ball game. And the pitch. And a good fastball from Dontrell rings him up as he threw that one right by him. Mark Sweeney will step in now. Mark Sweeney. And that's in there for strike one. And if he can spot that pitch there, he's going to have a lot of success in this game. Swing and a high fly ball crossing into foul territory now. Cabrera is over now, and he puts this one away in foul territory, and there are two men out. And no one will get this one. Reggie Stocker. Swing and a ball hit hard on the ground at first. He'll flip to the pitcher covering as that will retire the side. So not much happening here in the top half of the first. Now the Marlins will see what they can do. No score. Starting lineup for the new look Marlins reads like this. Hanley Ramirez will lead things off and be the shortstop. Next is Jeremy Ermita. He'll be out in right field. Following him is the first baseman, Mike Jacobs. Miguel Cabrera will bat in the cleanup spot and play left. Wes Helms will bat fifth. He's at third base. Number 32 will bat sixth and play second. Matt Trainer is behind the plate. He'll hit seventh. Chris Aguila will bat next. Really struggling against right-handed pitching. Something to be aware of. And batting ninth on the mound, one of the better hitters on the team, actually, Don Trell Willis. And opposing this lineup will be the two-time All-Star right-hander Matt Morris. Morris was a 22-game winner back in 2001, 
Since then, he's had some ups and some downs, but he was solid as a Redbird last year and should be of great value to his new ball club. A look there at the Giants on defense, obviously captained by 10-time Rawlings Gold Glove winner Omar Vizquel at shortstop. Hanley Ramirez will step in now to lead things off in the home half of the first. The shortstop, Hanley Ramirez. And a curveball to begin the at-bat, 0-1. And a foul ball straight back. And a changeup swung on and missed for the first down. Jeremy Hermida will dig in, and you see by the breakdown, he's really seeing the ball well this month. Now here's a ball hit hard on the ground towards short. Oh, and look at Vizquel. Throw not in time, but boy, was that a remarkable effort just to get to that thing. Mike Jacobs will step in, and you see where he enters play in the National League batting race. And they go right after him on the inside corner for strike one. The infield's a double play depth here, Matt, as they look for a ground ball to get him out of the inning. Started to go around there, but he holds up ball one. Deceiving pitch there. Good job to hold up in time. And he lays off for a ball, two and one. And guys hit 348 against Morris in the first inning of games last year. That's something to keep in mind right here. Over at the knees, and that's the second strike. Now the 2-2 pitch. Swing and a miss on the fastball that time, out number two. Boy, that's a beauty of a pitch. Check out where this thing is. He'd like to stay down there all night if he can. Miguel Cabrera will be the batter. Starts him out with a curveball for a strike. And he is cruising now. It's 0-2. Well, Morris is a guy that gets stronger as the game goes along. He's settling into his groove right now. Good fastball swung on and missed for strike three, and the inning is over. So they pick up no run on one hit, no errors, and a runner left. Second inning coming up here in South Florida with no score. Pedro Feliz leads things off now in the top half of the second. Pedro Feliz. And this one runs up high, ball one. And after a very economical first, let's see if he mixes things up a bit. In there, and it's even at one.
Here's the 1-1. And this is low, ball two, two and one. Yeah, and he'll lay off there and just take what's given to him. Swing and a shot toward right center. And that is down, and we'll see if they'll push it. Moise Salou will right, dig in, right. and you see he's among the National League leaders in RBIs thus far. And a fastball's in there for strike one. A runner at first with no outs here. And a big hack there by Alou, but he comes up empty. It's 0-2. Dontrell looks, now the pitch. Tried to get him to go after one below the knees, but it's one and two. Yeah, and he'll look for something a little higher here. And that's swung on and fouled straight back. Hit hard, but it is just foul, so he'll have to try and straighten that out a bit. Swing and a miss on the slider, and that's out number one. Omar Vizquel will stand in, and he's always a danger when he gets aboard, as evidenced by his placement among the National League's best stolen base guys. Runs up and gets one down here, but it might not be deep enough. Throw is too late, so the sacrifice attempt turns into a base hit. So first and second with one man gone. And stepping in is the center fielder, Steve Finley. Here's the first pitch to him. Swing and a miss that time. It's 0-1. Infield at double play depth as they look for two to try to get him out of this. And oh, you talk about getting a pitcher's call. There's one there, and it's 0 2. Fouled back. And a fastball swung on and missed as he just reared back there. Two away. So two on with two away. And stepping in is the catcher, Mike Matheny. And he misses inside with that one. Ball one. Hard to get the barrel of the bat on that one. Good eye. Lays off a fastball that doesn't miss by much, and it's 2-0. and oh. Swing and a hard grounder down the line at third. Throw on to Jacobs at first. He'll take care of him, and the inning is over. So no runs on two hits, no errors, and two left. We'll go to the bottom half of inning number two. And we are tied, nothing, nothing. Wes Helms will start things off in the bottom of the second. And here's a fastball called for strike one. This one's hit towards second for Durham. 
Throw to first is in time for the first out. Number 32 will dig in now. Switch hitter batting left. Number 32. Now a ball lined back over second. And he makes a great diving stop for the out. Matt Trainer will be the batter. Matt Trainer. Four one. Good discipline there. Lays off a fastball that doesn't miss by much, and it's 2-0. and Take sign must have been on there, because that's right down the middle, strike one. And a strike on the fastball. So from 2 and 0, oh, it's 2 and 2 now. And that misses. So after getting two outs with three pitches, he's gone full to the third hitter here. Chris Aguila would be next. Swing and a liner. But a good play by the first baseman to spear this one, and that'll retire the side. So a very good inning there for Matt Morris. It remains nothing, nothing. Matt Morris ready to go here as we begin the third. Matt Morris. First pitch is a slider called for a strike. And here's a swing and a miss as he falls behind nothing and two. Time to take a deep breath and regroup at the plate here. Pitch is mishandled behind the plate and it bounces away. Swing and a miss as he ran the fastball right by him for the first down. Let's take another look. You see that high leg kick there? That's just enough to throw a lot of guys off and it might be what happened there. So one gone here in the San Francisco third, and here's the second baseman, Ray Durham. Watches a fastball right there for strike one. Look out as that one ran in and got him. Oh, man. Whatever you do, don't rub it. You know he wants to. Don't do it. Now Mark batting. Sweeney will dig in baseman. here. Mark Sweeney. Here's one hit towards the hole. He's got it. Throw to second is in time, and that's a fantastic play. Well, a lot of times it's hard to get anything on a throw from your knees, but he puts a little mustard on this one and gets him. Reggie Stocker will stride in, grounded out his last time through.
Here's the first offering. And this is taken outside for ball one. Good patience there to stay back and watch that all the way. Now a ball hit pretty well to the left, but this is going to wind up in the seats foul. One one pitch on the way. And the pitch misses low and away for ball two. Yeah, and most hitters will leave that one be. And he can't catch the corner here, so he's behind three and one. Pedro Feliz would be next if they can keep this inning alive. Swing and a ball pretty well hit out towards left center. Aguila will get under it, though, and he puts it away to retire the side. Giants leave one. Home half of the third coming up. No score. Chris Aguila makes his way to the plate to get us started here in the bottom of inning number three. Aguila. Swung on and missed its 0-1. One. one of the secrets of his longevity in this game, work fast, change speeds, and throw strikes. Comes back with a fastball again as he's in control, 0-2. Now a bullet back up the middle. And that'll get by into center field for a base hit. Well, credit the number eight hitter here. When he gets on to lead off an inning, you allow the pitcher to bunt him over. Then it's on to the top of the lineup where they'll have a real strong opportunity to score. Dontrell Willis will stand in in what would appear to be a sacrifice situation here. Now a bunt attempt here. Throw not in time at first, so the pitcher tries to give himself up, but instead he gets himself a base hit. Henley Ramirez digs in at the plate. Now a ground ball to second. This could be two. And the throw will go to second as they get the force out. The relay not in time as he beats the throw by a step. So one out now for the Marlins in their half of the third. And that'll bring forth the youngster, Jeremy Hermida. And that misses ball one. And he'll wait for something a little higher that he can do something with. Now the 1-0 pitch. 2-0. Takes a good swing, but this will be a foul ball. Man, and he's nowhere near that pitch. It's two and two. Don't quite know where that one missed, but it's not for me to decide. Three and two. And now let's see if they send the runner off first here to try to avoid the double play. And a fastball blew it right by him, and there are two down. 
So runners at the corners with two gone. And here's the young first baseman, Mike Jacobs. First pitch coming. In there, and it's 0-1. Bottom of inning number three, nothing, nothing, our score. Good break to that one, and he's in command, nothing and two. And he struck him out. Second time tonight now that he's been set down on strikes. So it's no run on two base hits, no errors, and two men left stranded. On now to the top of inning number four. And we are tied nothing-nothing. Pedro Feliz will dig in. And as you can see, he's been a much better hitter at home this year. First pitch to him. Right there for strike one. And Matt, you can see the outfield now has swung well around to the right. In there, strike two. Now he's going to have to make an adjustment at the plate, maybe take a little length out of his swing. There's a drive. He got a lot of this one high and deep to center. Aguila is back, though, as he makes the catch on the track for the first down. Well, this ball's given a pretty good ride out there to center, but the center fielder backs up and is able to get there and put it away. Moise Salou will try again. Struck out swinging his last time through. First pitch on the way. And this is low, ball one. Lays off the fastball away, and it's 2-0. and Strike called, 2-1. and one. Oh, he wanted that one, but it misses for ball three. And he's going to need to rein that one in a bit because he'll get beat if he keeps leaving pitches up. And he misses ball four. Well, it didn't look to me like they wanted to give him anything to hit here. Omar Vizquel will step in now. Switch hitter batting from the right side here. And he gets ahead 0-1. Now a ball hit in the air, but in play perhaps down the line. And this will fall, but it's a foul ball. Shooting for the outside corner, but he missed it one and two. And he lays off a pitch outside as they draw even at two and two. Grounded to third. This could be two. One there. 
Relay to first in time, and just like that, this side is retired. We'll see Miguel Cabrera when we get back. On to the bottom of the fourth now, still with no score. Miguel Cabrera will lead things off here in the home half of the fourth. Right through it here, and he's behind 0-1. Here's the pitch. Now a ball lined toward the alley in left center. And that'll fall. And we'll see here, around first on his way to second now. The relay, not in time. And he's in there with a double. Wes Helms is at the plate as he looks at ball one. Swing and a miss as he ramps up on the fastball one and one. Good zip to that one. Gets that one in on him before he can get his hands through. Slider is right there, 83 on the gun, it's one and two. Swing and a miss there as the breaking ball takes care of him for the first out. Well, and the reason he's having this early success is because he's been changing speeds effectively. You saw it right there. That's what you gotta do. Number 32 will step in. He's 0 for 1 thus far. Come set. Now the pitch. Swung on and missed that time. It's 0 and 1. And he swings over the top of it, but chops it foul back to the backstop. Oh, and he can't catch up to the fastball as he swings and misses for the second out. Well, Matheny's going to give you an outside target here, and this pitch is right on the black. You cannot do much with that. Max Planer will stand in. A line-out victim his first time. Breaking ball as this runs in on him, and he has to step out of the way that time. He's got to keep his hand steady on a pitch inside like that. Here's a changeup that's right there, one and one. Pitching has the upper hand early as we're scoreless in inning number four. Matheny gives the target the one-one. Swing and a miss. Good sinking action there, one and two. Using the off-speed stuff to get ahead. That's the sign of a confident pitcher. And he lays off it to even the count two and two. And he struck him out. And that's eight strikeouts thus far. One left for Florida through four. Still tied. Nothing, nothing. Steve Finlay will make his way towards the box to lead off the fifth. Steve 
In there, no balls and a strike. Good change up there as he takes command, 0-2. swing and a hard hit ball back through the box and that is through into center field a base hit Mike Matheny will stand in he grounded out his first time now batting catcher Mike Matheny a look at Finley now the pitch swing and a ball headed towards the hole to second for one. On to first, and they get the double play. Good defense has been the rule throughout the ball game thus far, and this double play is no exception. There's a reason we're still scoreless, and you're looking at it right there. Pitcher's best friend. Matt Morris will get another shot. Struck out swinging his last time. Swing and a ground ball to short. Throw on to Jacobs at first. He'll take care of him, and the inning is over. So five shutout innings for him thus far. Home half of the fifth coming up, and we still have no score. Chris Aguila trying to keep it up as you see that he's really turned it on here this month. Lays off 1-0. Oh. Well, I think that batter just got a gift right there to begin the at-bat. Pitch to the plate is a slider for a strike, and it's all knotted up at 1-1. One and one. Think he held up in time, but that becomes moot as it's a cold strike two. Struck him out, and he becomes the ninth strikeout victim thus far. And he'll take the walk of shame back to the dugout like so many of his teammates already have. Dontrell Willis steps in now. Now he runs up and gets this one down. And the throw to first will be in time, so they stamp out the bunt attempt. Hanley Ramirez will stand in, 0 for 2 thus far. Now here's the first pitch. Below the knees, one ball, no strikes. And a good heater as he just watches this baby, a ball and a strike. Mm, can't do much with that one. It's one and two. Boy, this has been a good sequence to this point. Let's see if they try and punch him out. The pitch. On the ground to third. Feliz is there. Throw on to Sweeney. He'll be in plenty of time, and the inning is over. Five innings have been no problem as he's got the shutout working. Five innings complete, and we still have no score. Ray Durham will dig in. 0 for 1 in the ballgame. Ray Durham.
swing and a hot shot towards the hole. And that's by him into right field for a base hit. Mark Sweeney will stand in, 0 for 2 thus far. And he lays off a fastball, looked good, but it's 1-0. Ground ball to second. This could be two. The second for one. On to first, the double play. Pitcher's best friend right there, especially in a one-run ball game. Leadoff man is on, then whoop, just like that, he's gone. And there's two big outs in the inning. Reggie Stocker will stand in. He flew out his last time up. In the air, left field. And that's going to fall for a base hit. So it's a runner at first with two men out. And in steps the right-handed hitting Pedro Feliz. Swinging a hard hit ball back up the middle. And that'll get through into center field for a base hit. Well, he's on a tight rope now, and he's going to have to do all he can just to keep this game even. Moise Salou will stand in. Base on balls his last time. And the fastball is off his glove, and it gets away. So now two men in scoring position. Just a lack of concentration here with two outs, and now a base hit could bring home two. And there's the fourth wide one, so they'll go after the next guy with a force at any base here, and two men gone. Omar Vizquel will stand in with Giants on every base and two men out. In there for strike one. Pitchers are much more comfortable working ahead in the count when the bases are loaded. From the belt, kicks and deals. And this is high, a ball and a strike. And Dontrell's not afraid to work up in the zone with that fastball. Fastball called strike. One and two. This would be a big pitch if he could get him here and keep this game tied. Swing and a shot towards second. Oh, look at this. And the throw is going to get him at first. And put an exclamation point on that one as the inning is over. Giants leave them loaded. We are still scoreless. Jeremy Hermida will be the batter as we get things going in the bottom of the sixth. Jeremy Hermida. Here's the first pitch to him. And that misses for ball one. Trying to backdoor him, but it stays outside just a bit. And this is hit well towards the hole. And that's a base hit, so the pressure's on to open up the inning. Aboard with the leadoff single. And the way things are shaping up, they're going to need to capitalize on every chance they get because they might not get too many. Mike Jacobs will dig in. Strikeout victim is last time. Mike Jacobs!
Good bite to the slider, and he takes strike one. And low, it's a ball and a strike. Helping him out here as he swings and misses to fall behind a ball and two strikes. Pause, now the pitch. Struck him out as his woes continue as that's his third strikeout of the game. Well, that's an even ten strikeouts for him now, and three of them have come against this same guy. They have not had a whole lot of success to this point. So a runner at first now with one away, and here comes young Miguel Cabrera. And he takes ball one. That thing's moving pretty good at the end. He's ready now. The pitch. Fastball, and oh, he has to bend out of the way of that one. Runners on first with one down. Swing, and he takes this the other way to right. And that's in there. Base hit. Wes Helms will stand in. 0 for 2 thus far. Here's the first offering. Now a ground ball to second. This could be two. Look at Durham. Throw to second is in time, and that's a fantastic play. Number 32 will dig in. 0 for 2 with a strikeout in this one. Hit hard on the ground is short. Oh, and look at Vizquel. Throw to second in time. What a play as the side is retired. Marlins strand a pair, and this is still a nothing-nothing ball game. Steve Finley will lead it off here in the top of inning number seven. Steve Finley. Now here's a ball hit high and deep to straightaway right field. And he reaches up to track this one down for the first out, and he had to go a long way to get to that ball. Mike Matheny to get another shot. He hit into a double play his last time. First pitch is a changeup for a called strike. Both teams with six hits so far. Man, a fastball just misses. It's one and one. Ah, gets him to swing at a pitch down and out of the zone, one and two. A one-two pitch to Matheny. Swing and a hard hit ball towards the hole. Throw on to first, and it's two quick outs here for Don Trout. Matt Morris will be the batter. And he lays.
lays off a pitch in there for the first strike. Boy, tough when you take off speed to start the at-bat. Now the pitch. Swing and a miss. It's 0-2. center field. Aguila will have room, though, as he makes the catch and the side is retired. Seven shutout innings for him thus far as he's really been in control here. Time to get up and stretch here in Miami, and we still have no score. Matt Cleaner will try again. Struck out swinging his last time through. Now a swing and a fly ball. Stocker is there, though, as he makes the catch out near that teal monster. Chris Aguila will have another go. He struck out looking his last time. Here it comes. And a ball, 1-0. This one's on the inside corner, one and one. Oh, and he broke off a beauty there. And he lays off this one down and in for ball two. And now with the pitcher spot on deck, let's see if they want to work around this guy. Now a ball hit high in the air out to center field. Finley is there, two gone. Dontrell Willis will dig in, one for two thus far. Here's a ball hit pretty well and carrying the deep right. And Alou will wait on this one to make the catch, retiring the side. Add another zero as it's up to seven shutout innings so far. Eighth inning coming up, and we still have no score. Ray Durham will get us going now in the top half of the eighth. Ray Durham. And he throws the fastball by him here, 0 and 1. Matt, he brought that fastball right in his kitchen, and he couldn't get to it. One strike pitch is a fastball high, and that evens things at one. And he lays off a pitch down and away. Ball two. At the knees for a called strike, and it's back to even at two and two. Now he's got to protect the outer half with two strikes. Fastball is outside. It's full now. Three and two. Mark Sweeney is on deck. Here's the payoff pitch. And he gives this one a pretty good ride down the left field line. Cabrera ranges into foul territory as he makes the catch out near the wall for out number one. Mark Sweeney will get another shot. He hit into a double play his last time. Now a hard hit ball back up the middle. 
And that'll get by into center field for a base hit. Reggie Stocker will get another crack, one for three thus far. Now he turns on one and rips it down the line. There's one. On to first as they get the double play to get him out of the inning. Make it eight shutout innings now as he's been lights out on the mound. Home half of the eighth straight ahead. And we still have no score. Henley Ramirez will try again. 0 for 3 with a strikeout thus far. Henley Ramirez. Too low, 1-0. Matt, he's up over 75 pitches now, so they're really going to start watching him a bit more closely. The 1-0 pitch. Swing and a ball hit hard on the ground towards second. Durham will flip to first for out number one. Jeremy Hermida will dig in, and you see by the breakdown, he's really seen the ball well this month. Off the plate and away there, one ball, no strikes. Good movement there, and he's not even close. One and one. Hit hard, but foul. Here's the pitch. And he struck him out. And there's strikeout number 11 in the ball game. Mike Jacobs will try again. 0 for 3 thus far. Now a swing and a hard hit ball to short. Picked up by Vizquel. Throw on to Sweeney. He'll be in plenty of time. And the inning is over. 1, 2, 3 go the Marlins. Still no score. Pedro Feliz will dig in, looking for hit number three in the ballgame. Pedro Feliz. And this is heading out toward left field, but this is going to get fouled up into the crowd. And there's ball one. Sometimes guys go down and get the soft stuff. Not there. Looked like he was on that one, but it's one and two. Swing and the ball hit well to the right side, but this will get into the crowd. And a changeup swung on and missed for the first down. Moise Salou will step in and we'll see if they decide to pitch to him this time around.
Now a ball hit hard towards the hole. Oh, a tough play. Throw gets him at first, and that was a magnificent play. Omar Vizquel will get another crack, one for three thus far. Swing and a soft liner down the line in right. And this is going to be a foul ball. And he gets under this one a bit as this is lifted into center field. Aguila is there and he'll make the catch to retire the side. Nine shutout innings for him thus far. Now just one run can make him a winner. On to the bottom of inning number nine. Four, five, and six coming up, and we still have no score. Miguel Cabrera is set to go now as we lead off the bottom of the ninth. Miguel Cabrera. Lays off the slider. Don't know quite where that missed, but it's 1-0. Now a drive to right field. This could do it. Game over. Walk off home run. Home run number 15 for him thus far. And with one swing of the bat, this ball game is over. Well, no better feeling for a hitter than to hit one right here. He gets a pitch he can do something with, and he hits a walk-off job. And you can see his teammates are fired up about that one. So it's the Marlins guys that claim the victory here in suit. Let's check out our majestic play of the game from this one. Well, they don't come any more exciting than this. Let's take another look. He just clobbers this thing, and the game was over from the incident touched his back. And guys, you can't win if you can't score. So, Dave, there's probably not much debate as to who will receive our upper deck player of the game honors for this one. Yeah, Matt, there's no debate in my mind. The thing I liked was the way he really challenged these hitters. Nothing fancy. He just went right after him. That allowed him to throw the shutout. So that brings us to the conclusion of this one. For my colleagues Dave Campbell and Rex Hudler and all of us here at the show, this is Matt Vaskersian saying thanks for joining us here this evening. Once again, our final score, the Marlins win it one to nothing. This has been a presentation of MLB 06, the show. For more, log on to MLB 06.com. Good night, everybody.